welcome to episode 4 of Everglades National Zoo. Today we are building an underwater restaurant for some pygmy hippos and I was really excited to do this because I got the idea of doing an underwater restaurant for the pygmy hippos a while back but I never really got around to doing it until now and I almost actually didn't do it this episode because I thought I wouldn't have enough time this week to get it done but I had already kind of planned it out and did a little layout and then once I started I like couldn't stop so I ended up doing this one anyways and I got most of it done there was only one thing that I wanted to do that I didn't get done but it wasn't part of the habitat or the building anyways it was kind of just something off to the side so it was really no big deal but this was really fun to build and I especially enjoyed doing the lighting because I've never really done lighting the way I did it in this episode before. It's really cover colorful and there's just a lot of lights everywhere pretty much basically. Not in the habitat but in the restaurant and because I did the restaurant more jungle themed even though it was in a swamp but I wanted to do like a really colorful jungle and very lush so I added a lot of foliage inside the restaurant but it would be fake foliage and there's like a lot of leaves coming down from the ceiling as well as a whole wall of just what would be like fake foliage and stuff and that was really interesting to play around. I ended up having to cut a lot of it out because it was just really hard to build down there inside the restaurant because every time I tried to select something it would select like the leaves or something because it was just not a lot of room and I had to move the camera around a lot and that's kind of hard to watch when it's a speed build so I had to cut all that out I did get uh, I did keep in though me adding a bunch of the fake rocks from the aquatic pack I did get to use those in this episode and I kept that in so I just lined the underwater viewing uh, the glass with those fake rocks and I really really like those fake rocks they work really well and it's really cool to see the guests come down and look at the pygmy hippo swim through the glass but they don't actually sit at the tables like I was hoping they would since it is a restaurant and it would be cool to see the guests kind of sit by the the glass and watch the hippos swim while they eat but they just stand behind the glass and watch which is okay too but it's kind of, it's not really how the guests would use it in real life, so it's a little disappointing, but it's just how the game works. And I actually wasn't going to keep these blue walls, because I started off with them blue, but then it was just a little overwhelming at first. But one tip is, if it isn't sitting right with you at the beginning, just keep going with it and keep adding stuff to it, and then it might look right, and it hopefully will look right at the end because that just happens a lot it's not usually going to look good at the beginning and you just have to stick with it and it will look better at the end and so I kept the blue walls obviously and in the end I do like how they turned out and the guests have two viewing areas where they can view the pygmy hippos one is the restaurant and there's, there's another walkway off to the left of the restaurant and that's the part I actually didn't get finished yet I wanted to add like a gazebo around like there's a circle area and I didn't get to do the gazebo yet but I uh, hopefully I'll have that done by next episode and speaking of next episode I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet I'm thinking okapis because I really love okapis they're actually one of my favorite animals and I think they're a really underrated animal in the game so I'm thinking okapis next but it's not for sure so just stay tuned for that and this was a continuation of our swamp area that we started last week uh, Willow Grove we started with the otters and this is just behind that and it connects really well because there's a staff area right behind the pygmy hippo habitat and it connects both with the otter habitat and the pygmy hippo habitat and it's right off the entrance so the layout actually really worked out so that was helpful and even though it is in a swamp I kind of went with a more jungle theme overall with the pygmy hippos because like I said the restaurant is more jungle like I kind of the restaurant I kind of feel like it's almost been overtaken by a jungle on the inside and that there's foliage growing through the walls which I think is really cool and it also if you've seen the original Jumanji it kind of reminded me of that at the end which I thought was pretty cool 
and it did end up giving me that same like like a jungle overtaking it so I thought that was pretty cool and for the pygmy hippos shelter again I went kind of more jungle themed and did a kind of abandoned temple that was kind of falling apart a bit and it, it's not really big or anything it's really small and I really like building uh, with the South America themed and so I thought I would just kind of implement that into the swamp so it's not completely a swamp though I did use all the same foliage I did with the otters I copied the custom tree some more and then a lot of mist again and foliage in the water and it did turn out it did it's kind of a mixture between a swamp and a jungle um, and I think it turned out really good and the hippos have a nice big area to swim in which they like to do a lot and actually pygmy hippos are less aquatic than the normal hippos, hippopotamuses you would think of. Uh, they actually have a rounder head and longer necks and they also don't have eyes on their top of their head like hippos do because you can usually see hippos that like to peek out of the water but because they have eyes on the top of their head but pygmy hippos don't and they also don't have an, as webbed feet as hippos and they have longer legs. And something I think is really interesting about pygmy hippos is their skin is really smooth and thin, which helps them stay cool in humid rainforest. But because of their thin skin, they dehydrate really quickly in the sun. And because of this, it causes them to sweat this kind of pink fluid. And this makes them uh, look shiny and wet all the time. But this is actually called blood sweat and it helps protect their skin from the sun. So it's basically built in sunscreen, which is pretty cool. And they're also mostly nocturnal, and during the day they usually are resting in swamps and rivers, so it's pretty fitting for this area of the zoo with the continuation of the swamp. And they are endangered, there's not that many of them in the wild, unfortunately, and this is mostly because uh, their forests are cut down or burned away, and their rivers are also polluted by humans, which is really unfortunate. But they're really cool animals and I love them a lot. The babies especially are so cute. I remember when I first got the game, I didn't really know anything about pygmy hippos beforehand. But when I saw them, especially the babies, I just, I loved them so much. They are so adorable. And one more thing I did add in this restaurant is wheelchair access to the seating area and the underwater viewing for the pygmy hippos because I feel everyone should be included. So I just added an elevator since I only had stairs before and I actually put some restrooms in the elevator so it actually looks like people are going into the elevators but I thought that would just be a nice thing to add and yeah. And now on a different note just something I wanted to mention is that right now on the channel we only have one series which is Everglades National Zoo obviously and I was thinking about starting a franchise zoo and I've had the game for quite a while now and I've never attempted a franchise before so I have no idea how it would go. So I was wondering uh, maybe if you want to comment down if that's something you would be interested in. I would probably fail to be honest but I could always try and see how it goes. And I actually thought about starting a franchise in like the Savannah and I think I would be pretty cool and I'd be willing to try it so if you'd like to see that maybe just comment down below and that's all I really have to say for today's video if you would like to see updates uh, maybe follow my Instagram there will be a link in this description and if you liked the video maybe give it a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any suggestions and if you would like to see more content maybe consider subscribing and I'll see you next time <laughs>